Hey guys, in today's video I'm testing this $100 drone that I got myself from Amazon. It's got a camera on it, which is kind of cool. You can control it by voice. Uh, you could actually fly it with these little tabs. Let's see. This is how you pull them out. So you could fly with them or without them. Okay, there it is. They just basically snap in. So guys, I'm gonna show you how to basically download the app to control it by voice and show you all of these controls. So let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and actually search for Snaptane and then download Snaptane Mate app. So in our case, I already have the app. All we got to do is open it up. So over here, it's asking you for the GPS if you want to allow it. So let's go ahead and actually allow it. And I guess we just go ahead and allow everything. So the reason you want to actually allow access to your photos because it does take video and you could record some video. So before we begin we want to go ahead and actually open this up we could put our remote inside right here like that right now is we're gonna first power on the drone so it is powered on and so we got the tutorial here so looks like I was actually in a flight mode it just makes it look kind of like a game uh, over here you got all of these things to control here so you got filter music media lens switch uh let's see trajectory right uh no trajectory flight vr mode headless mode voice control calibrate more than right here speed switch photo video control stick on and off and then we got one key takeoff and landing we got g sensor mode we got g for photo and video and we got vision and follow so let's go ahead and actually do this so we're gonna hit play we gotta connect with Wi-Fi because my profession drone it connects to Wi-Fi so we are basically connecting through the to the drone uh, to the drone's Wi-Fi and it has connected so now we're gonna go to this drone menu and let's see if this actually will allow us to to play it okay now we're prompted with this update mate uh, would like to find and connect to devices on your local network okay so now it's actually showing a full battery which is great oh and look at that and the video camera came on so let's go ahead and actually put the drone that way um you could see the camera uh let's see i just adjusted it slightly up so let's see There is also gesture control, hint, uh, the effective distance between the aircraft and the hand is about 1.5 meters. Police operate in an indoor or outdoor wind environment below force 2. The control effect is uh, released through the phone performance. It is recommended to use iPhone 7 or, you know, above. So we have iPhone 8, so we're good. <clears throat> So I guess uh, here's the camera, like now I'm recording, now I'm not recording this, just took a picture. So there it is, uh, so it actually saves the picture, I don't know what this thing is. Oh, this is the, this is a speed, so it's got 30, so what is this here, uh, the effective follow distance. Okay, so that is follow, so we could actually test that distance, and I think the app just crashed. So let's go ahead and actually hit play again. Looks like that video uh, came on right away this time, which is great. Well, obviously, with, with the way the joystick is, I'm able to control it. So we're gonna select that to make a thick video so taking video right now let's just go ahead and uh, fly okay looks like I was already facing 
So guys, I want to show you how to control your drone using your phone. Of course, I don't know everything about it, and this is a learning experience for me. As a matter of fact, just to get uh, this working, I had to kind of close the app a couple times, and of course, in order for this to work, you gotta make sure that you connect uh, your Snaptain A15 uh, through Wi-Fi. Then, of course, your camera will work. In order to actually record with your camera, just hit that right there, it starts recording. Here's one button takeoff. So let's try this again. So this is a one button takeoff. And it's been kind of weird. Like, there it is, starts flying. So I guess right here you could, you know, you could control it. Let's get this up. I must say it's not easy controller like this, but uh, it does work. So I'm trying to now land. So it's actually now recording me. So I'm going to go ahead and land it by hitting one time. And now it has landed. So let's try this one more time. <clears throat> I think it's a good idea to pull the remote up. Then you touch that one button, start. Starts flying. And to land, one button, and then it lands. So I want to test the functionality of this drone actually following me. So this is the functionality of it following me. So guys, now I'm going to try to uh, fly it by actually doing this one button control. So I got the button up. It's not doing anything. So let's try to hold it. So I'm holding it. Nothing. Let's try to hold it again. So it can be a little bit tricky. Okay, I see. I don't think it's going to be flying because our battery light is too low. So I do have one more battery, so all we got to do is pull this one out like this and install another one. I do like how these batteries are because it's actually really easy to install them. To install them, you want to kind of put this little tab in the middle, then slide it forward. So let's try this one more time. I'm going to turn the drone on. We're going to need to open Snaptain. Gonna put play and then Wi Fi. There it is. So now it's actually connecting to it. So sometimes when things don't work, just turn everything off. I actually have to remove the battery, plug that back up. All right, so now that that is connected, um, we're gonna open up the controls right here and let's see. I should actually be seeing a video camera here. Uh, that's not happening. So I'm going to shut the app off and open it back up again. There it is. So now it's actually working. So there it is. And we're going to open up the controls. We're going to hold the takeoff. Now it's taken off. <clears throat> now we could actually steer. So let's turn this drone around. So it's kind of like having a remote in your hand with the phone. So we're not even using an actual remote. It's basically, it's on the table there. So there it's flying right there. And let's fly forward. Okay, so let's try to climb down a little bit and let's see, I'm gonna turn around. So guys, I found another type of mode, which is this little mode right here. You turn it on and that little icon appears. I mean, this really starts making your drone like this. You could just control it like, like, a, like a steering wheel. I like the drone. Thank you. 
So see I'm kind of like tilting it forward. And that's how it is. So now I just need to figure out the gesture controls. So it's kind of like a steering wheel if you want to turn it. But if you want to fly this way, you could just do this. So I'm trying to figure out how to go up or down. I guess also you could use like your, your hand to try to do this and that with like this. Now I want to do gestures. So it's actually taking that picture all by itself. Okay, it looks like the battery is dying. Guys, there is a gesture control and this drone does do like flips and all kinds of good stuff like that, but it's a learning experience out of the box. There's, I guess, there's gonna be a lot of reading. Uh, as usual, I really don't do a lot of reading. I try to pull stuff out of the box and start using it. I, I'm gonna go ahead and land it. Normally, I think when somebody's buying a drone like this for $100, it's more like you're buying it for a kid. And if a kid cannot pull out of the box and start using it, then it's going to be a lot more difficult because you have to sit down and explain stuff. But I'd say this drone is definitely usable out of the box, especially if you're using a remote. The remote makes it a lot easier. Now, if you have a phone, well, you could have an app and you could control it with a lot more capabilities. But I'd say for $100, everything that it does, just, you know, just for the fun of it, just to try to go through all of these features and just try to use them, I mean, it's well worth it. I mean, look, it's got a camera on here. You could really have a lot of fun with this drone. So I had two batteries. I think I've been using it for 15 minutes on each battery. I'm sure I've been here 30 minutes or more just trying to mess with this drone here. So I'd say the battery life is pretty good, but I think two is plenty. It does have plenty of flight time. But anyways, guys, if you wanna check this drone out, check it out in the description below. There's gonna be a link. You could do all the reading up on it. Uh, see if you could figure out how to control it with gestures or how to control it with voice because it is voice controlled as well. I like it. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Take care of yourself. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.